Wow. Looks number three and four can get it. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia here on my channel. I love affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dig right in to this collection from Lunar Beauty. We have the Siren Sunset Collection. So we have this gorgeous palette right here, which, oh my goodness, this is one of the prettiest palettes um, exterior wise, I think that I own. And then we also have three liquid lipsticks as well in the gorgeous Lunar Beauty packaging. I already have other shades from other collections or just Manny's staple shades from Lunar Beauty, but I'm really excited to test these out as well. Now let's go ahead and look into this gorgeous palette. So here is what she looks like, you guys. And we also have duo chromes. Yes, Manny has taken Lunar Beauty into the gorgeous magical world of duo chrome special shades. And I hope that this is a trend that we'll start to see more and more. Honestly, this isn't the first I've seen of this lately from more mainstream brands. Although I do consider Manny still a like an indie brand, but at one point he was in Sephora, not anymore. But Dose of Colors, I know, threw some duos in there. Even uh, Wet n Wild, their little Scooby-Doo palette from Halloween had one in there as well. So I think that they're starting to catch on to that like indie beauty craze where everyone just wants a little bit more dimension, color, shift, sparkles in their palettes, but while also being pretty grounded in color story, as you can tell from this one. So as you can see, this is a half neutral, half colorful palette. It's mainly cool tones. You do have a couple of warm tones in here. Um, also, I probably already put it over here as I was talking. I'm not sure when it's going in, but I'm going to try to put little video clips and pictures of the duo chromes in here, finger swatches, swatches on the hand, because they're just so beautiful. It does not pick up in the camera here. Honestly, any promos I saw of this before getting it does not do the palette justice in real life. It is really, really beautiful. These special shades in here are stunning, and then they also swatched really nicely. So I'm so excited to dive in to this palette. And I was looking at it today. I'm gonna do a, a bleh, I'm going to do a look on each eye today. I'm going to try to do a look on each eye tomorrow to give you guys a total of four looks. But even as I was looking at trying to figure out what I'm going to do today, I just see so many different combinations that you could really go for. You can go for like everyday looks here if you just want to stick to this row. And then you can also go like real neutral with like one pop of a special shade. You can go really deep and bold and just focus on, you know, the more deeply saturated colors in here and the more bam multi-chrome or duochrome colors in here so there's a lot that you can honestly do with it and so i think today though i would like to show you guys at least one look that is just pretty much neutral but maybe with like a special neutral leaning special shade so you can see it could be every day and then i want to do maybe a neutral with like some of those BAM colors as well. Tomorrow I'll get more into those saturated colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig right into this. So if you wanna see these looks, see how they come out, keep on watching. All right, you guys, starting with the neutral one, I'm gonna go in with the shade Low Tide. And this looks like a nice medium toned brown shade. What I like about this shade already, starting to lay it down, is I have found, this is something I've discovered here recently with my skin tone in particular, is that if I'm dealing with cooler tones and say a cooler toned brown, a cooler toned um, gray, a lot of times, they pull, a brown will pull um, 
more gray leaning on me. Whereas in the pan, I'm like, I thought I looked down and saw brown, but I am now seeing gray on my lid. That's been happening a lot lately. Or if it is say like a cool tone gray, a lot of times I'll put it down. Like with the Natasha Denona Xenon palette, I have a review on that. Really, really enjoy that palette. I really like it. But what surprised me was they all, all the mattes pull blue on me. So this shade, I like that it is looking like it is brown. I'm not putting this down and thinking, oh, this just turned gray on me, but it's still cool toned, which is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Okay. I think next I am going to go, let's take a little bit. I'm going to take, this is actually a Lunar Beauty brush. This is the Laura Lee and Manny number one, I believe. Yes. So it's this little dual ended. I'm going to go with mystery. This is a little bit deeper here. And I'm just going to kind of fill in this crease. I like how tiny this brush is so it can really get in there. I have a hard time getting inside this crease because of these overhanging brow bones that I have. So I like that, that I can really get in there and deepen that up with this brush. Very cool toned, deep brown here. Almost leaning like a taupe, but really pretty. Next, I'm going in with Starfish. Starfish looks kind of like a little bit of a mauve leaning shade, like there's a pink hue to it. Ooh, I like that. Honestly, that kind of reminds me of a shade that I love in the Eternal Eclipse palette, which thus far has always been my favorite Lunar Beauty palette. I love Nude Prism um, and I love that one, but I have always, always cited Eternal Eclipse as my favorite cool toned palette. And this is probably as close to that that Manny has done in my opinion. And I love that palette so much. Okay. That is really pretty. I'm trying to say somewhat simple with these looks because tomorrow I'll probably go more over the top. Okay. So I have used one, two, three, Okay, I'm actually going to take Shell and I'm just going to see what happens if I take this flat side of the number one brush. Ooh, that is a good like carving out the brows, kind of highlighting with the matte. I like that. Or you could use this also to blend into like a deeper shade to tone that down some. Ooh, I really do like that. That is a nice like bone color. I like that a lot. Okay, now for, let's see, take this brush. For the outer corner here, I've used four mattes. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna use Alluring. So this dives in a little bit into color. Like I'm still kind of trying to keep it somewhat neutral looking, but I just feel like, yeah. Okay, that's really pretty. So Alluring is this really, really, really deep eggplant purple. And as I was laying these other mattes down, even though I, I do think they're pretty neutral, as soon as I put down that starfish shade, which is that kind of light mauve shade, I thought, ooh, that really helps this look where it could go into the purple, or you could just stick with the brown and keep it more neutral, but it's like it could go either way. You could start incorporating some color here or keep it really neutral. And I'm just gonna blend. We'll say that is maybe not 
like the most easy purple. I mean, it's not bad. Um, by the way, I'm taking Current, which is like this really deep brown shade to kind of blend that in here. It's not bad, but you know, purples can be finicky. I wouldn't say it's patchy. The, the formula of these mattes are not like a super buttery soft matte, like not a, not a blend bunny matte or even like when Natasha Denona does her really good mattes. They're a little bit drier than that, which is not necessarily bad. It's just going to take like a little bit more blending where it's not those mattes that just, ooh, it all blends so seamlessly. But I'm most excited to dip into the special shades in here because I just felt like swatching them, they were really, really, really impressing me. So I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that they're going to be really, really good. Okay, that's looking nice and smoky, but let's see, on the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna start with Current, that deep brown, but then kind of go a little bit lighter as we come in. So now I'm gonna go in with Let's do the starfish, that mauve shade, just so that the bottom lash line isn't too, too heavy. But I did want that outer corner to match the smokiness here. Okay, this is looking really good. This is so hard to decide. Like, I just don't know which way I want to go with these. Uh, these multi-chrome duochromes, gosh, okay. Sea Witch is a little bit deeper. Coastal Line. Coastal Line has been like absolutely calling my name. Um, Siren Song. Gosh, these are so pretty. Okay. Ah, oh, so tough. You know what? Okay. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in with Sea Witch. And we are, ooh, okay, that's really pretty. Okay, maybe I'm not going as neutral as I thought. I mean, this is kind of like a, this is kind of turning into just like a stormy, smoky eye. I gotta stay committed on the other eye to do something a little bit more every day. That is just so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. Then I think for fun, let's do coastline. I've been dying, dying to lay this one down. <laughs> really pretty. And though these feel, they feel very smooth. They're not a gritty, Multi-chrome, honestly, what they kind of remind me of, just in the texture, Nomad Cosmetics, and they did their um, European, uh, oh gosh, why can't I think of what it's called? I own it. Oh my gosh, my mind is going blank. I'm just going to write it on the screen. I should know this like any other day. But Royal Europe, Royal, I just thought of it, Royal Europe, when they did that palette and put in multi crumbs for the first time, they kind of felt like this. These like real smooth texture where they're not going to show texture on the lid. Really impressive. Okay. That is really pretty. All right. Inner corner. This should be fun. Okay. We have Pink Pearl or Water Nymph, and I think I'm gonna go in with Pink Pearl. Really smart, really, really smart to have these kind of shifty topper shades in Pink Pearl and Water Nymph to pair, because this one has this bright pink 
in it. Really pretty. That can go with that sea witch really well. It can go with the purple looks really well. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to match, matchy match. But then the water nymph has a different, okay, here we go. So see, it has that it's like white, but then it's not. It's got this green. And then the pink pearl is this one where it's got like a pink shift. So pretty. So pretty. I'm really, really happy with this look. I think it's really, really pretty. Okay. Next up, we are going to do the other eye and okay let's see so I started out with low tide on this one I think now on this eye I'm gonna go in with the starfish that's that mauve shade this is a perfect crease shade transition shade I love like a medium toned mauve really really pretty and again these mats they're not bad but just as I'm laying them down there's just a difference when you start to feel other textures like a blend bunny as I was talking about or I'm trying to think of a another brand but I always use them or Natasha Denona because those are just mats that I first think of that are so so easy Who else can I cite that has these really excellent buttery mats? Um, oh, recently, it's actually a, a dupe brand, but the Mirage palette, those mats in there are also very similar. They're really buttery smooth. So, okay, I'm gonna take Shell. That's that lighter, it's that lighter shade. I'm just going to put that right here. When you've used those, and then you go into ones like these, it just, it feels different. Like, even as you're laying it down on the lid, like this has a little bit more roughness to it. But it still looks nice on. And it's not patchy, which is good. Okay, let's see. Now I think I will go into let's do low tide that's the one we're gonna put right here in the crease so I'm saving oops I'm saving the more colorful like Ariel love the names by the way sea witch Ariel starfish water nymph seductress they're all really good names for this palette. But I'm saving those more bold colors for tomorrow. I think these are really, really wearable. Okay. I feel like the light is making this look a little bit lighter than it looks in person to me. I am going to deepen it up a little bit with the shade mystery but I am trying to keep this eye like not quite as quite as deep as this one a little bit lighter I will say it's I feel like anytime I think I just already said this but if you put down that mauve starfish shade it's gonna make the more neutral shades pull look like it's more purple which actually does make sense with the palette. But if you want to stay truly neutral, just don't put in that mauve shade. Ooh, I like how that turned this kind of gray, murky, stormy, light purple. It's really pretty. Okay, bottom lash line. I'm going to do current. We are going to deepen up 
the lower lash line. We're gonna get the same. This one also had current on the outer portion. But then I think inner, we are going to, let's go in. I did starfish on this eye, so I'm gonna do something different. I think I will go in with low tide, although it would be really pretty to pop Ariel. Ariel is this color here. That would be really pretty on the lower lash line. Like if you, I think this palette's really good for if you want to incorporate color, but you don't want too much color. It, you know, it's really half and half in here. And you can always incorporate color by just putting it on the lower lash line for that pop. Like if, if a teal turquoise is too much for you on the lid, you can always pop it on the inner corner. All right, so for this one, I know I wanna take Siren Song right here, this bronzy shade. Okay, that's pretty. This is, it's a soft, not ultra sparkly shimmer, but very, very smooth. This, this honestly is like a really pretty everyday shimmer shade. It kind of reminds me of a Sydney Grace shimmer, which is a compliment, definitely. Okay, next I know I want to go in with Silver C and pop that one in the corner. Yeah, these are more of those really flattering everyday type of shimmers that you could wear, I think get away with like at work. If you have a job that you don't wanna to be too over the top where you're not wearing like multi and duo chromes. It's very like this really smooth satiny type of shimmer. There's not really like too much chunks of sparkle in there, but still a nice everyday. Okay, but I do wanna take Water Nymph that one that has the green reflect to it. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love that. Love, love, love. I bet that would even be pretty like laid on top of these other shimmers, but it's also just gorgeous in the inner corner. I love that. All right, you guys, I am going to do my liner lashes and my lip and come back and show you this a little bit more up close and give you a few thoughts and then we'll move on to day number two. All right, you guys, I am going to put on my liner and lashes in just a second, but let me go ahead and swatch these really quick to see which we wanna use. So we have Sailor. And I did watch Manny's video. I'm pretty sure he had Sailor. These are trying to roll off. By the way, these components are so beautiful and they're very heavy. Ugh, that is so pretty. Wow, okay. Sailor, I know I'm probably gonna use Sailor today. Um, let's see, we have Pink Pearl. Oops. That's really pretty too. Okay, then we have Abyss, the deepest one. That's gorgeous. I love all three of these shades, honestly. They all are perfect for this palette. You know what, actually? I think I'm gonna go in the deepest one because if I'm going more over the top with my looks tomorrow, I'm probably gonna wanna use this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with Abyss and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, the lip is on, the lashes and liner is on. 
And I think this is so, so pretty. I love this vampy lip so much. It's that 90s deep purple. I think it's so pretty with this look. Although you could definitely do just a nude lip or like a light gloss to keep it more just daytime every day. But I think it really pops against the this eye look for sure. Tomorrow I'm definitely going to do some of those bolder colors in the palette like we are going to touch more of these right here but this look today I think is absolutely beautiful all right you guys we're back for day number two and we are going to dig in to some of these really deep saturated colors so I'm going to go in with deep C. This is this deepest blue in here. It's a little bit of powder, so I'm going to tap that off. And I'm just going to take this flat brush and start packing that on. As we can see, this is a really pretty midnight blue. I'm just gonna take that kind of out this way at an angle. Okay, I didn't necessarily mean to make this like swooping. This is just what happens when you have such a curved brow bone like I do. I can be looking down and think when I do this, it looks all like straight. And then when I go like this and put my eye up, it's such a curve that it scoops down. But that's fine. I'm not really trying to get like the specific shape. I'm just kind of laying down the shades here. I'm taking Seductress, the purple, and I'm going to kind of pat that in, layer it right next to it. I am going to take a different brush here in a second and kind of blend these out. But yeah, this purple looks really nice. This, this doesn't seem, this seems to be working a bit better than Alluring did. Alluring was that more, it's more on this deeper burgundy side. This is a bright, brighter purple. Really, really pretty going on very, very nicely. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, this just came to me. I don't know if I've ever done this before. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna take the blue again and start laying it down and I'm just gonna mirror this side where I'm gonna put the blue here and then the purple next to it, but leave an open space. Okay, now I'm gonna take this little thinner brush here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of both of the shades and I'm just going to kind of connect right up here. It kind of made more of a, like a navy, I'd say. The blue by itself is more of this bright cobalt blue. And then when you combine the purple and it, it makes a little bit more of a, a navy. I'm just gonna kind of take that and really blend the top of this. All right, I think it looks kind of cool. I've never really done something quite like that before. So for the lower lash line, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do one of those like alternating. So I think I'm gonna do Merman, the deep green down here. And then I'll probably use one of these to do on this eye. So it'll be kind of like a flip flop from each other. So. This is the deep green. I told you guys I was going much more dramatic today. And obviously, 
There's so many different looks you could get out of this palette, truly. So you wouldn't have to go so bold over the top. You could do one of these really bold colors with one of the more neutral or lighter tones in here, but I just really wanted to go for it and show kind of the versatility of this palette. Yesterday was kind of like a soft, smoky looking two looks that really could kind of maybe transition day to night. Like I think you could get away with that in the daytime. And this is obviously like bold. And any bold look, you have to have the lashes and the lip, the whole thing on. Cause it looks crazy when you're just like this. I always think that like this, you just look like Petey, like the little rascals dog. <laughs> okay, so the two shimmers that I haven't used that I'm definitely using today. So Siren Temptress. So this is the more bluish leaning one and this is, okay. So I wanna do that contrast. I think I wanna put the blue one with the greens on the right eye. So I think I'm gonna go in with Siren. And lay that down. Oh, pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's got a blue, purple shift. And honestly, maybe even pink? I don't know for sure if there's something about the shadows that I'm layering them next to makes it look pink or if there really is a pink inherently in there, but that's really, really, really pretty. I do think I'm gonna put a tiny bit of Sea Witch though, because Sea Witch is a little bit more pink, like a dark pink black base. I'm just gonna kind of layer that on top just to Gorgeous, so pretty. All right, now I definitely wanna put one of the pretty toppers in here, and I think I'm gonna go with Pink Pearl, and I'm just gonna place that right here where I kinda left a spot open. I'm loving these sparkly, shifty toppers they're so pretty because they're really impactful like sometimes these can be like throwaway we're like oh it's good in theory but it just doesn't have enough oomph but you really like you can lighten up the corner so much with it but then also get those pretty sparkles oh my gosh i love that i love that Okay, that turned out even better than I thought because as I was going in, I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, love that. Let's move on to the next eye. Okay, so for this eye, I'm gonna do the same concept, but just with these, the green and the teal, where I'm gonna lay the deepest shade out here and then put the teal next to it and then mirror that on the inside. That was pretty cool. Hopefully I can get it to look <laughs> like this side. It's so hard with my lids. And I get, it's so funny how you want, you know, what someone else has and vice versa. Because I get so many compliments on my lid shape and my eye shape. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Do you know what it's like to work on this crazy curve? It's so, so hard. I'll think I have it down and it's so sunken in here that when I lift my lid, this will all be white. So anyway, I've learned to work with it though. But yeah, I just, I wanna do the same concept because since I'm going with two different, you know, completely different colors, at least do the same sort of eye shape. Okay. I need to come out just a little bit more here. Okay, 
Now I'm going to go in with the teal right next to it. And then if I need to go add to the side to make it as far out as this side, I'll do that here in a second. So let's lay this teal down. Ooh. Actually, those look so pretty kind of blended in together. I laid it on top there just with like a deeper base. It's a really pretty, pretty teal. Okay, I really love how those colors go together. That merman, that deep, deep murky green is so pretty. Really like that shade. I'm impressed with the colored mattes in here. I think more so than the like more neutrally mattes. These are really, really nice. Re oh, by the way, I just mixed those two together like I did on the other side to kind of blend these together. And maybe it's a packing method. I mean, I am a fan, a big fan of the packing method instead of going in with the fluffy brush when it comes to, you know, pigmented mattes. So maybe these are just mattes that really need to pack on. Okay, I didn't leave as much room on this one. Blank space, but that's okay. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna take a shade from this side to do on the lower lash line and I chose to do the deep C. That is the deep kind of midnight blue, cobalt blue. I think that'll just look really pretty with the green. Okay, now I'm gonna take that Temptress shade. Oh, this is such, oh my goodness. This is a stunning blue. Oh, that's so pretty. It's this like cobalt blue, purple, that is so pretty. I love, I love, love, love this for me <laughs> or for anyone that gets the palette. That's super pretty, super pretty. Okay, now for this inner portion, we're doing the Water Nymph, which has the little green reflect and up into this portion, kind of lighten that up. I'm impressed. All right, so I put the lashes on and the lower liner on as well. So pretty, you guys. I am really, really in love with these looks. Wow. Okay, also the lip. So what I did was I did a combo, kind of an ombre a little bit of these two liquid lips that were left. So I took the shade Sailor, which I wasn't really prepared for how like, it's almost like a gray, like a brownish gray. It is super cool tone and so cool. But I just thought, uh, let me add this one in the pink pearl so I can kind of see what it's like. It is beautiful. I think it'll be beautiful on its own. It's like a, a really, beautiful mauve, like a deep, actually, it's kind of like a bright mauve, I would say. So I put that in the center and let the sailor be around the edge. But I mean, you guys, this look is so, so pretty. So what are my overall thoughts? 
You guys, I'm so happy with this palette. I'm so proud of Manny, proud of Lunar Beauty for playing with multi-chromes. And honestly, they perform beautifully. I'm also really impressed with how the colored mattes performed. I wasn't really sure. It was kind of like, I don't know. Not that these were bad, but I just couldn't get the full gist of how good these were going to be until I put them on today. Definitely think packing method works beautifully with them. I don't have really any kind of blending issues, laying them side by side, blending them a little bit together. Um, I do think that this is versatile. I think you can go, if you stick to these lighter tones, like right here, you can go more every day. And then you can dabble into these when you want to be more mysterious or dramatic or date night. I had so much fun with this. I was also really impressed with the topper shades in here. Very, very, very impressed. I kind of mentioned a few times that sometimes those can fall flat for me. They perform so well and have such a beautiful place within this palette. Very, very, very happy. Also, the liquid lipsticks are gorgeous. I love them. They're very unique. I would say, especially the Sailor shade just being, I don't think I have one like this in my collection, like a real gray leaning brown really cool and then that deep shade is gorgeous when you want to go vampy I'd say this pink pearl is more of like the most wearable of the three so I think that fits perfectly with this palette I mean this palette these lips really represent what this palette is you have like everyday you have really unique and you have more dramatic that's exactly what both of these are. So I am so happy with the whole collection. I'm so glad I got the whole thing. Um, I know it's still available for $87 for the whole collection. And I will say I was able to use a code on top. So if you can find one of those, I was emailed a code. So that made it even less expensive. And I kind of think it's worth it. I really, really do. I had so much fun with this. You guys let me know what your favorite look was in the comments. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping, and being a seductive siren. Bye!